I tend to believe that there's alien civilizations dispersed all throughout. Yeah, but we might be totally isolated from them. So you think we're not? There's none in this galaxy. So like, and I guess, and the question it, I also have is, what kind of do you think they have nuclear fusion? It's like, is it all? Yeah, is the yeah. physics all the same? Yeah. Oh, the physics is all the same. Yeah. Right. So this is the and this is the Fermi paradox. Like, where where the hell is everybody in the universe? Right. Um, well, there's some so you know the, the scariest one of those is that I would point out that there's been you know there's you know order of many tens of millions of species on the planet Earth, and only one ever got to the point of sophisticated tool use that we could actually start essentially leveraging the power of what what's in nature to our own will. Does this mean that basically this means so almost look there is almost certainly life or DNA equivalents or whatever would be somewhere. I mean, just because you just need a soup and you need energy and you get organics and whatever the equivalent of amino acids are. And, but, you know, most of the life on earth has been that those are still amazing, but it's still like, it's, it's not very interesting. Are we, are we actually the accident of history? This is a very interesting a one. Super, like, like, super yeah, rare. Accident. Super rare. And then, of course, the other part is that also just the other scary part of it, which if you look at the Fermi paradox is, good, good, we got to this point. How long has it been in humans? So humans, Homo sapien has been around for whatever, 100,000 years, 200,000 years, something like that. Um, our ability in, in that timeline to actually make an imprint on the universe like for, by emitting radio waves or by modifying you know, nature in a significant way has only been for about 100 of those 100,000 years. And, you know, are we, it's a good question. So is it by definition that by the fact that when you are able to reach that level of being able to mani manipulate nature and, for, ex for example, discover, f f you know, discover like fission or 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 other or 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 burning fossil fuels and all this is that what it says oh you're doomed because by definition any species that gets to that point that can modify their environment like, like that they'll actually push themselves you know past that's that's one of the most depressing scenarios that i can imagine yeah so the, the so basically we're, we're we will never line up in time because you get this little teeny window in time of where civilization might occur and you you can never see it because you never the, these these sort of like scatter like like fireflies around the galaxy yeah. and you never yeah it yeah. goes up is up is up is up and then explodes destroys itself because of the or exponential it, 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 and when we say destroy ourselves all we'd have to do is that we basically go if if hu humans are all left and we're still living on the planet and yeah. but all we have to do is go to the technology of like you know eighteen hundred yeah and we're invisible in the universe again. Yeah. So it was when I when I listened to the I I thought I wanted to talk about this as well too because it's <laughs> it comes from well it comes from a science point of view actually yeah. of what it means, but it also to me it's like a, another compelling driver of telling us it's like why we should try really hard not to screw this up, like we're we're in this unique place of our ability to discover and to make it, and I just don't want to give up about thinking that we can get through. Yeah, I, I tend to see that there is some kind of game theoretic force, like with mutual shared destruction, that ultimately in each human being, there's a desire to survive and uh, a willingness to cooperate, yeah. to have compassion for each other in order to survive. Yeah. And I think that, I mean, maybe not in, in humans, but I can imagine a nearly infinite number of species in which that overpowers any... Uh, technological advancement that can destroy yeah. or, or rewind the species. So I think if humans fail, I hope they don't. I see a lot of evidence for them not, but it seems like somebody will survive. And there you start to ask questions about why why we haven't met yet. Maybe it's just space is large. Oh, space is, it's, I, I think in logarithms and I can't even f fathom you know space. This is extraordinary, right? Yeah. It's extraordinarily large, yeah. I mean, there's so many places on Earth. I just recently visited Paris for the first time. Yeah. And there's so many other places I haven't visited. There's yet. so many other places. Well, I, I like to, you know, it's interesting that we have this fascination with alien life. We have what is essentially alien life on Earth already. Like yeah. you think about the organisms that develop around deep sea, like thermal vents. One of my favorite books of all time from Stephen Jay Gould. If you've never read that book, it kind of blows your mind. It's it's about the Cambrian explosion mm -hmm. of life. And it's like, oh, you look at these things and it's like, 
our the chance of us existing as a species like the the, the genetic diversity was larger back then mm -hmm. you know this is about five about 500 million years ago or something like that it is a mind altering trip <laughs> of thinking about our place in the universe i have to say plus the mind itself yeah is a kind of alien with almost um almost a mystery to ourselves we still don't understand it the very the very mechanism that helps us explore the world is still a mystery yeah so that like understanding that will also unlock um quite quite possibly unlock our ability to understand the world uh, and maybe build machines that help us understand the world build tools that help yeah us understand. i mean it already has i mean our ability to understand the world is is ridiculous almost actually <laughs> And and post about it on TikTok. It's, it's almost unbelievable, like where where we've gotten all this to.